The year is 2014. I'm 19 turning 20 in the following year, and I have my first job. I'm miserable. The job is physical and intense. Every single day I come back home and I just find myself sitting in my room, depressed and waiting for the next morning so I can go back to work. When I finally made enough money, I began procuring a small collection of video games that wouldn't break the bank and for a system that I already had experience with, the PlayStation 2. One game I played and knew it would mean a lot to me is none other than Persona 4. <laughs> The job I worked had me completely and utterly depressed. Lost in my life with no idea of what I'm going to do, I abandoned my education with no plans of what to do after this job, if there even was an after. But with the help of some kids in Yasuinaba and their magic ghosts representing the facade they face reality with, I learned how to accept myself warts and all, and face the real world with a newfound resolve. Yosuke taught me that sometimes you just need to let it out when mourning someone you loved, even if that love was unrequited. Chie taught me that putting up a tough front was fine at all, but it didn't hurt to let yourself feel scared. Yukiko taught me that doing things on your own terms rather than doing them because they're expected of you makes that inevitable experience worthwhile. Kanji taught me to explore my interests regardless of how society views them as masculine or feminine. Risei taught me that crafting your own identity pays off in the long run and can better help you distance yourself from your past. Naoto taught me that not everything has to be taken so seriously, and sometimes you gotta have a little bit of fun in order to not become completely jaded. I could talk about how some of the writing hasn't aged well, some of the design choices for some of the dungeons are convoluted, and that one part of the game can eat a dick with how strict it is, but that's not really all that important. What is important is that I found meaning in my life thanks to some funny little digital people. 